So I think like we got to get to a place where we have to look at ourselves, you know, as as a culture, you know, and, and when I when I critique the culture, I'm critiquing from within. I'm not on no high horse. You know, I participate in this just as much as anybody. You know, when I see this trend of young people dying, you know, of just the 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 dismissal of the quality of life. It's like, it's like, yo, we got a problem. You know, what's one thing for Biggie and Pac? The frequency in which people were dying wasn't, um, was much less, right? Now, it seems like in the last two years, you could say just about every other month, someone is dying. You know, someone's getting shot, you know? And so that's the end result. But what about all the shit that we do to get to that point? You know, we dissing the dead. You know, we, we, we talking about pulling up to somebody's block and, you know, spinning the block and, you know, we speaking a lot of death right now. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> it's not even about like being on some positive, like, you know, lighting up candles and, you know, Talib Kweli type shit. It's like, nah, man, I just want to live. I just want to live. You know, I, I value my life. You know, a lot of these people, even when they talk them this op shit, they don't even value their life, right? And so, like, we have to look at the culture. No other culture is doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Pop, country, uh, uh, rock and roll, you know, no other artist is having to check in. You know, nobody's getting shot, you know, in a restaurant. You know, Slim 400, Trouble. King Vaughn, Young Dolph, PNB Rock, um, Mo3, you know, these are all guys that are dying before the age of 30. That shit ain't cool. Like, to be quite honest, man, I ain't trying to say long live anymore or free this one. You know, and those are the more, you know, notable uh, situations, but niggas is dying all the time. And so we gotta understand that this shit isn't normal. You know, I know we come from them trenches. I know we come from that bottom, but this shit ain't normal, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have to take a look at ourselves. We have to reevaluate what it means to be a real nigga. Because if being real means going to jail and dying, I'm not real. No, I'm not real. <laughs> Straight like that.